two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm going to read you a story from my big book of truth on your feet. It's story time. Now, remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely 100% true, and you're also going to want to pay close attention. All right? When I'm not on the TV screen, I'm working behind the scenes as a big-name music producer with a reputation for spotting new talent. My first discovery was my sister Courtney, who I renamed Food Courtney because she works at the mall. My brother Bobby had a short-lived career as rapper MC Pipsqueak. And my dog Max recorded a hit single as Dog Doggy Dog, and that was just the beginning. I discovered Swift Taylor sewing clothes and made her an overnight sensation. Lady Goo Goo Gaga became a success on the strength of her single Pamperazzi. Umpire Weekend plays Take Me Out to the Ball Game like you've never heard it. Panic at the Discount Store sings and sells their hits at the same time. Most of my groups have their names in lights, but Kings of Neon are all in lights. The Blue Eyed Lima Beans are the only music headliners who are also a side dish. The Mannequin Dolls looked great, but they couldn't sing or dance. And in hindsight, Kids Flop wasn't the best name for a band. Then there are my novelty groups. Ellen and the Hamsters have a ball on stage. The Black and White Stripes play it all from A to Zebra. Bounce is the ultimate hip-hop artist. Justin Bieber doesn't bring the house down, he brings the trees down. Finally, there's Jeffy Jeff and the Jeff Tones. My songs aren't memorable, but no one can forget my name. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. You guys know the deal. I've had tons of summer jobs, but one of the most memorable was my job as a substitute lifeguard. The first thing I did is put on lots of kiwi-scented sunscreen, which attracted fruit flies. Ew. Maybe I should have skipped the feet. A good lifeguard has to be alert at all times. You're on the lookout for anything out of the ordinary. I mean, besides the usual spaceship, Titanic sighting, King of the Sea, and pink, purple, and green sea monster encounter. Oh, no. Killer whale! Never mind. But being a lifeguard does have some fringe benefits. <laughs> and a lifeguard has to be ready to save lives at a moment's notice. I'll save you! Using agility. Ninja-like reflexes. Incredible speed. And excellent judgment. Hi, Mom. Whoops. <laughs> no matter what they tell you, there's no such thing as a land shark. my first and last day as a lifeguard. <laughs> That's my story, and it's all true. All right, you guys know the deal, right? Ryan, we're going to start with you. What object hit me in the back of the head after I fell asleep in my lifeguard chair? A volleyball? A volleyball. Let's find out. Sit and hold. Incorrect. Jasmine, over to you. Same question. What object hit me in the back of the head after I fell asleep in my lifeguard chair? Suntan lotion? Suntan lotion. Let's find out. Sit and hold. Oh, no! And away she goes. Daniel, Sydney, you guys are one step closer to becoming today's Brain Search champion. The correct answer was beach ball. I got hit in the head with a beach ball. All right, are you guys ready to go head to head? Yeah! All right, let's do it with a knockout round. Knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly and you stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to drink it all in and that time starts right now. Daniel, we'll start with you. What's your first number? Three. Three? And 11. And 11. There you go. It's a match. Sydney, over to you. One. One. And two. And two. Also a match. All right. Daniel, your turn. Six. Six. And seven. And seven. There you go. It's a match. Sydney, back to you. Four. And 13. And 13. There it is, another match. Daniel. Five. Five. And 10. And 10. Not a match. Okay, we are now in 
sudden death territory. The next correct match is today's brain surge champion. Sydney, what's your first number? Five. Five. Eight. And eight for the win. friend have a seat and hang on coming today's brain search champion Emma Jameson what do you say we settle this with a knockout round knockout round Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Make a match correctly, you stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize the board and that time starts right now. Emma, we're gonna start with you. What's your first number? Three. Three. And? Twelve. And twelve. That's a match from where I'm standing. Jameson, how about it? First number? Fourteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. And fifteen. There's that Jeff Eating Blob that gave Nick and Garrett a run for their money. Emma. Um, nine. Nine. And ten. And ten. You got it. Jameson, over to you. 13. 13. And 8. And 8. Oh, not a match. Okay, we are now in sudden death territory. The next correct match is today's brain surge champion. Emma, first number. 5. 5. And 2. And 2 for the win. to happen, buddy. Have a seat and hang on. Oh! Last night, I fell asleep during the dumbest movie. It was about this girl named Courtney Gale and her dog Tutu. They get sucked down the brain drain and end up in a land with a much better color scheme. It turns out the place is crawling with little brainiacs. Hey, watch it. They represent the Brainiac Guild. They tell Courtney that to get home, she has to go see the Wizard of Brain Surge, who lives in the slime city at the end of the puzzle path. On her journey, Courtney meets a dumb bunny who needs glasses, a robot who needs AA batteries, and a chimp who needs a diaper change. She even gets captured by the wicked nitwit of the West. Eventually, they arrive at the Slime City. Wow. Who dares disturb the great and ginormous wizard of brain sur- Ow! Pay no attention to the guy with the carrot up his nose. Oh. All right, what do you guys want? So Courtney's friends get their wishes. And the wizard sends Courtney home by running the entire movie in reverse. It smells. And everyone's happy, except Tutu. and it's all 100% true. All right. I recently took up juggling, and I can juggle some pretty crazy stuff. Pay close attention to everything you see. What color was my T-shirt? I can't hear anything you guys are saying when you're all yelling at me at once. I did say pay attention to everything you see. Oh, yeah, right. boy. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh. Yep, yeah, it was number four. Yeah. Okay, got it right. Nice job, guys. Nice job. You know the thing I love? It's a good monster truck rally. Check out these four trucks and watch as they transform into monsters! Ah! Now, keep track of the truck that ate me as they drive around. So, which was the truck that ate me? do out there? Good. Yeah? All right. 
right, we got some yeses, some noes, some possibilities. Let's find out what the correct answer is. There I was. It was number four. If there's one thing I love, it's a good monster truck rally. Check out these four trucks and watch as they transform into monsters. Ah! Now, keep track of the truck that ate me as they drive around. Which was the truck that ate me? All right, yeah. time's up. I tell you, man, good boys play with toy trucks, bad boys play with monster trucks. Ten points, ten points, ten points. Yeah. How'd we do out there? Whoa. That's what we're talking about, guys. Woo! All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, there it was. Blabbermouth is quite the talker. She's also quite the spitter, so be sure to wear goggles. Rufus McForehead has a forehead so big he rents himself out for a billboard. Donna Dumpling wears oven mitts and a helmet. She's always prepared. For what? I don't know. Franklin Funny Bucket knows a hundred jokes. <laughs> what is worse than a giraffe with a sore throat? Unfortunately, he doesn't know a single punchline. Astronaut Sally Riderbiter was the first person to take a dog for a spacewalk. Jackie J the Iceman is one cool snowman. That was good friends with his dad until he melted. Quiet Wyatt always gets tongue-tied when he talks to girls, so instead, he plays his guitar. Rip Van Wrinkles is older than dirt, but only by a year. If something's broken, Tommy T Troublemaker is always willing to take the blame. Poopy Rupa labels everything incorrectly. What she labeled as hair gel was really peanut butter. Lynn Lint Filter is made from belly button lint. She's generous, kind, and fluffy. Cletus is an invisible blue guinea pig. Don't ask how I know he's blue. Lori Lampwitch lights up any party, except a pool party. Johnny Noonie Lala performs nightly at Las Vegas' Shark Tank. Peggy Pogo Legs is a little jumpy, but if you need a ride, she's your gal. And Tiny Hawk is the only bird who's also a skateboard champion. Man, he fly. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. You guys know that. But there was one that was definitely the craziest. I was captain of the debating team and the football team. Everyone wanted my autograph, even Principal Snurkin. Still, I felt something was missing. But then I spotted Leah singing up a storm at the Glee Club auditions. I had to meet her, so I auditioned and got in. Mainly because the director, Mr. Brewster, wanted my autograph. We learned cool songs like the Johnny and the Spots hit, Don't Stop or Leaving. And Leah taught me some hot dance moves. Then one day, our Glee Club was challenged to a song and dance off by the Zombie High cheerleaders. Their head coach, Scary Sue, was the lead zombie in the 80s music video, Shriller. She was always saying, Eat your heart out. And she meant it. We arrived at Zombie High at 8 o'clock sharp. When we saw the judges, we knew we were doomed. The zombies performed a dance called Ghoul Digger. They were good, though they missed a few steps because they lost a few limbs. Then we did a high-kicking number titled Boom Boom Kapow. We wanted first place, but the zombies wanted us as their first course. Right. Thinking quickly, I picked Leah up and spun her around. We won the competition, and the zombies learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes winning takes more than just brains. Right. That's in comic book lit. You'll learn why superheroes wear underpants outside their outfits. You'll learn to write like Shakespeare would have if he had a cell phone, in texting as a second language. The history of recess includes a lot of field study. The baseball field, the soccer field, and the football field. Intro to makeup tests uses actual makeup. You'll discover if that sandwich you found in your locker predates the Jurassic period in lunch paleontology. Social network studies because the world is a better place after you've updated the status of your BFF. Wedgie prevention will show you how to make your own underwear security system. Then there's advanced procrastination. I'll tell you about it later. Paper Airplanes 101. You'll learn how to make an electric guitar from a tomato can and a curtain rod. Heavy metal. Cell 
iPhone photography will guide you through the process of taking and posting really embarrassing pictures of your friends. Fashion for Guys covers such important topics as what's the expiration date of underwear? Who needs fancy schmancy instruments when you're enrolled in armpit orchestra? Boyology is the study of boys and what makes them so gross. Lemistry will teach you the difference between a pimple, a zit, and a bullseye. And we promise you, no pop quizzes. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. You guys know how First, I built one of those baking soda and vinegar volcanoes, but it never erupted. Well, at least not when I wanted it to. Then I designed an edible model of the solar system to prove once and for all that I am the center of the universe. But my dogs ate all eight planets. Next, I tried to magnetize a nail, but I ended up magnetizing myself instead. Oh, come on! I came up with a perpetual motion machine that gave Bobby a never-ending butt-first toilet dump. <laughs> he seemed to like it, but Mom and Dad, not so much. You're grounded. I tried growing mold using an old piece of pizza, but it turned into a Jeff-eating blob. <laughs> Finally, I tried to build the world's biggest salt crystal. I fell in, got trapped inside the crystal, but still took first place at the science fair. Bad news was I had to pitch the big game that day. Ball four. We didn't win. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. All right, you guys. My brother Bobby loves to annoy my sister Courtney. Listen carefully to their conversation. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Ugh, are you kidding? Ugh, are you kidding? I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Bobby's a stupid head. Bobby's a stupid head. Hey. Which phrase did Bobby not repeat? Hey, Bobby, are you kidding? I'm not in the mood. Or, Bobby's a stupid face. Oh, I missed it. I totally just realized it after I did it. All right, everyone, repeat after me. I'm going to get 100 points. I'm going to get 100 points. Jeff is the coolest. Jeff. Jeff is not Jeff. the coolest. No, come on. <laughs> We're all friends here. We're friends. You're just not the coolest, Jeff. Oh, okay. You're well, up there. You know You're what? not the coolest, though. We'll settle that after the wow. show. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is for 100 big ones. The correct answer is... The correct answer is... Bobby's a stupid <laughs> face. Bobby's a stupid <laughs> face. He said Bobby is a stupid face. <laughs> Who got it? jumped at the chance to visit my favorite toy makers workshop. I was so excited when I found the golden ticket good for a tour of Billy Bonkers Toy Factory. My brother Bobby and sister Courtney came along too. Billy Bonkers arrived in an elevator made of ice. Welcome! There's only one rule, don't touch the toys! Then it was off to see how Mr. Bonkers, along with his helpers, the Baboon Palumpas, made all of his top-selling toys. There was the Super Spitter, Booger Babies, and even the Turbo Go-Go Pogo Stick. Then we entered a room filled with Mr. Bonkers' newest video game, B.O. Ogres. Without thinking, Bobby grabbed the game controller and started playing. Suddenly, he was sucked into a video game world and was being chased by Odor's Ogres. Before Courtney and I could do anything, Billy Bonkers hurried us into another room. The Baboon Palumpas were busy assembling the doll with a sweet smile, Buffy Burp. Courtney reached out to hug one, and like that, she was turned into a life-size doll. Then I was whisked into a room with Bonkers' most popular creation, Robobat. As I moved Whoa. in for a closer look, Bonkers got ready to bonk me. Hold it! I have an idea for the biggest selling toy of all time. But first, I want my brother and sister back. So we helped launch Bonkers' craziest toy of all, the Billy Bonkers action figure. Only $24.99. Get yours today. That's it. But I was a superhero in high school. Don't believe me? They're even making a comic book based on my life. A freak accident during a field trip to the LOL lab left me with a strange ability. So I became Slime Man. Luckily, being a superhero didn't go to my head. Although I did own a Slime Man lunch pail, action figure, hair gel, and toilet paper. But I didn't have much time for my girlfriend, Jane Mary. Help! My purse! No need to thank me, ma'am. You ought to be ashamed of yourself! Here! What? Bank card slime? Slime Man suspect? But everyone knows that slime is only used for good, not evil. Undeterred, that night, I responded to another robbery in progress. Hey, this isn't slime. 
Bingo, slimy. The green globule. I get the money, you get the blame. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> but I protected myself with slime until I tripped over the guard. Sayonara, slime ball. Not so fast. Who are you? I'm Sneeze Girl. Achoo! Bless you. Don't mention it, Jeff. Jane Mary? But how'd you know it was me? Your mole gave you away. Oh, him. Jane Mary, you're the best. Aw, uh, uh. aw. Ah! Jeff? That's my story, and it's all true. All right, you guys know. Here it comes. I can never sleep in on the weekends because my dogs are always waking me up. Pay attention to the sounds they make. Max barks whenever he sees the cat. And Ruff barks when he's hungry. Pee Wee is always barking at the paper boy. And here's old Doug, barking at his own reflection. Almost all of them bark when they see the mailman. Based on the sounds of their barks, which one of my dogs is not barking right now? Alright, if you think you got this one right, bark for me. Just got something. Uh, it's, a, it's a very subtle one, Jeff. I'm so, not quite so Jeanette sure. is the only one that thinks I got it right? No, I totally don't think I got it right. I, was, I just want to bark. You know what? Let's just find out what the correct answer is. Nick, you know what? Drop and give me ten push-ups. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because we're friends. This right, next right. puzzle, though, is worth 20 points, so check it out. Oh. I recently took up juggling, and I can juggle some pretty crazy stuff. Pay close attention to everything you see. What color was my t-shirt? worth 
50 points to take a look. Holly made friendship bracelets for four of her soccer teammates. Pay close attention to who gets which bracelet. This one's for Felicia. This one is for Joy. This one is for Corey. And this one is for Haley. Thank you. Which pattern was on Felicia's bracelet? You know what I, I really liked about that, Matt, is you were either, like, really confident that you knew it, nope. or you just had no idea. I literally just looked down, pressed a button, that was it. I don't have any idea what Felicia was wearing on her wrist and I which one it was. I was champion. Don't I, I was the Oh, the trashing champion. talk right. continues. Yeah, the trash talk from the girl that just guessed the answer, of course. <laughs> well, let's find out what the correct answer is. Go team is bringing it to you Woo! guys. Oh, yeah! 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 You know, and while we're talking about teams, uh, it looks like the troop is kind of in second place, whereas well, True Jackson VP, me? you guys are just, you know, come on. Yeah, basically, yeah. And yeah, you got a bracelet wow. for champ on your team. Come on, man. That Don't hurt, get it, champ. All right, we are down to our final puzzle. Ooh. After this, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level, and the other two are going down the that brain drain. So, pay attention, and here it comes. It's a slumber party. Pay attention to what happens next. Girls, stop fighting! Which color pillow was this girl holding in the pillow fight? It was either one, two, three, or four. How do we think we did on this one? Is it bad that I put in five, Jeff? Because I did. Yeah, you know what? You're definitely going to be wrong down if that's the, the case. Let's find out what the correct answer is for 100 points. Yeah. Yes! Yes! It was pink number two! Joining her cast member from True Jackson VP, it's Ashley! Oh!